A Brazilian Navy delegation led by the Chief of General Staff of Brazilian Armed Forces have arrived in New Delhi, and the visiting delegation held discussions on the potential for collaboration between the two countries in maintaining upgrading and enhancing the capabilities of their Scorpion submarines. The Indian Navy operates six Scorpion-class submarines and will order three more. While the Brazilian Navy operates four Scorpions, and the two sides are discussing the incorporation of next-generation weapon systems like the Brahmos and Xi, and integration of the audio developed AIP system. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has issued an expression of interest inviting prospective partners for the development testing and production of next-generation heavyweight torpedo for Indian Navy submarines, that will feature exceptional maneuverability, and advanced technologies such as acoustic homing wake homing and fiber optic systems, ensuring an extraordinarily high single-shot kill probability, even in the face of intense countermeasures by the enemy vessel. The Indian Air Force has already tested the Rudrim-1 anti-radiation missile from Su-30 aircraft, and the Air Force has now identified the Tejas Mark 1A unrafil aircraft as the platforms that will soon be adapted for the Rudrim-1 missile. The Tejas Mark 1A will be deployed at frontline bases by end of 2024, that will give them the capability to destroy enemy surveillance radars communication stations and bunkers. The chairman and managing director of Garden Reach Shipbuilders has said that the next generation destroyer program is in the conceptual studies phase, and the request for proposal for the program will be issued in 2026. Both Mazigan Dock Shipbuilders and Garden Reach Shipbuilders are eyeing the $10 billion contract to build eight next generation destroyers with staggering 144 vertical launch missile cells for the Brahmos 2 hypersonic anti ship missile. India and US have decided to collaborate on the development of unmanned surface vehicles and unmanned underwater vehicles under the Indus X initiative. Global data forecasts that expenditures in the unmanned underwater vehicles market will rise significantly from $379 million in 2023 to $965 million by 2033 while the global unmanned surface vehicles market is projected to reach $3.16 billion in 2033. Defence officials have said that India is in the final stages of preparing a letter of request to send to the US government for the procurement of 31 MQ-9B drones from General Atomics, and it is expected to be sent next month. The letter of request will encompass the requirements of the three services, needed equipment, terms of procurement like assembly in India with 20% indigenous content, and spare support for the drone through Indian partners. The indigenous military combat parachute system was tested for its efficacy and foolproof functioning today, that has been developed indigenously by DRDO's Aerial Delivery Research and Development Establishment. The system can be used in high-altitude high opening, as well as in high-altitude low opening modes, and will provide a solution to paratroopers for jumping from height as high as 30,000 feet, and glide up to 30 km range.